King County has just surpassed the 300 mark for deadly overdoses this year, and we are just four months in. That's according to the latest public health data. Last year, 1,300 people died from overdoses. That's three times as many as in 2019. It's something counties across the state are working to tra uh, crack down on, and they're launching plans for increased prevention and treatment. The Department of Corrections is now deploying new four-legged employees to detect fentanyl. King 5 photojournalist Tom Tedford was there as the drug dogs earned their diplomas. <laughs> this is Raiden. He's a approximately three-year-old yellow lab. Timber. Yeah. Hey, come here. Pip. Short right. for pipsqueak. Yeah. <laughs> Touch. He's a uh, male. He's six years old, so he's yeah. very mellow, laid back. All right, roll over, play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was great training him. He's had pre uh, prior experience. He was down in Utah, and so it's been kind of second nature training him, and it's been more like him training me, to be honest with you. Her name is Harley. Oh, you're not camera shy, are you? <laughs> <laughs> it's not work. No, he loves it. He loves it because if he does find drugs, then... He gets to play with his ball, which is the number one thing he likes to play with. Razo. Drugs getting facilitated into the facility. It's uh, been a problem for years, and I'm hoping to combat that with the dog, and I think it'll work out. Six. 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 He's trained on uh, methamphetamine, uh, heroin, and, and cocaine. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. There's so many dogs like this that really are made to do this. They're high drive dogs. They really want to work, and they're not super friendly, they're not super personal, some of them, but um, he's gotten a lot better. He's gotten a lot more acclimated to people. And he's loving life. What good dogs. So three of the five dogs that graduated today are trained to find fentanyl. Starting in June, all new canine dogs will be required to do so because of a new bill passed this legislative session. Fentanyl doesn't just pose a danger to humans. It can also be lethal to animals. One vet told King 5 the overdose reversing drug Narcan can be used on dogs. The dosage, though, depends on things like size and breed.